Hey guys, Buff from Game Bad today, bringing you a video for our Milsim Operators of Season 5. And what I'll do is go ahead down below and link the Milsim Operators for Season 3 video, as well as the Season 4 video that we did. And today we're going to be covering all the Milsim Operators available here at the start of Season 5. And I think so far, of all the Milsim Operators that we've gotten over the past three seasons thus far, I think this is my favorite hands down. So why don't we go ahead and back out, we'll look at the Battle Pass, and we'll jump through these one by one. So if I go back to the Battle Pass here... And I go all the way back to Tier 1. As soon as you buy into the Battle Pass, you're going to get the brand new Operator here that highlights Season 5. And the Behemoth Bundle is going to be Marcus Lurch Ortega. And then we're going to look at the Archangel for Rodeon. So let's go ahead and go to our Operators. And we'll go over to the Allegiance side. And then we go ahead and select Lurch Ortega here. Or Marcus Lurch Ortega. Now this is based off of a real world uh, ex-Marine, ex-SWAT officer, Tony Sentmanat. And he again, ex-Marine, ex-SWAT. And he also has a YouTube channel called Real World Tactical. If you're interested in that, it has some really good information on that channel as well as shows off some really good weapon builds. But the good thing about this and a lot of the operators this season so far is you get missions along with the operators. So the base operator skin for him, nothing really special. But here you can see the challenges that are associated with him. So if we go ahead and just skip ahead, we can preview the second one that's available for him, which I don't have unlocked yet. But you can see here... Much more tactical looking. He's got the plate carrier, whereas the first one he had no armor or protection whatsoever. So he's got the plate carrier. He's got the rook there. He's got his camelback on the back there. Tactical knife. Holster for his sidearm. Knee pads. As well as the boots. And again, you can see with the plate carrier. He's got his comms there. Radio in the back. He's got the contacts for the headset. As well as just a hat and sunglass. So pretty cool looking operator skin for him here. And now the next one here that unlocks when you complete the challenges for Lurch, or you're going to get his actual more Milsim-esque type outfit. So again, here you can see he's got what looks like something similar to the Fast MT helmet on there. He's got the same contacts. He's got the, the Rook on the back there for the symbol. And you can see, again, where the mounts there are for the nods, as well as that cable or the cord that's going there right on the American flag on the right-hand side to the back of the battery pack there, which would power the nods he, if he had them. Uh, equipped and again he's got a tactical knife on the back he's got his backpack tactical plate carrier he's got the crotch protection plate carrier there as well as knee pads very overall tactical build you can see the uh what looks like on his left hand side there flashbangs and tactical equipment there radio again located on the rear so pretty cool looking operator outfit for him now next up first off let's go ahead and just select a different weapon class to go with this a little bit more since we're looking at the Allegiance Operator. So now we'll go ahead and look at the Arch Archangel, which is available for Rodeon here. So here, if I go ahead and preview him. So again, this is available at Tier 2. And again, very similar to Bale's Stone Face skin, just minus the headgear. Uh, he's got heavy Tier 5, Tier 6 armor. With the You can see the armor is also protecting his arms there and shoulders. And it's going down a similar... Uh, what we just saw with Lurch with the uh, crotch protection, similar to like an AVS, but again, he's got the contacts there. Pretty tactical looking. Those are the earless contacts. You can see where it inserts in the ear still though, just with a bud. And again, pretty cool looking operator. And again, he looks pretty neat there with that AN94 also. So we'll go ahead and back out and we'll go back to the battle pass and just go right down the line here. So next up, if we go ahead and if I jump back to the beginning here. So we covered the Archangel. Now we're going to go up to tier 10 which is perhaps in my opinion possibly one of the best milsim operators we've gotten so far so if i go ahead we'll select our actual weapon that goes with this operator and we're, i made an m4 similar to a ca a colt ca7 to go with him so if you're not familiar with this a lot of you brought it up in the live streams also when we were discussing this let me go ahead and preview so this is the skin for otter and again it's called it's called the safeguard skin so if you're not familiar with this skin it's based off the real world skin for the unknown SAS officer who was deployed in Kenya during the hostage situations there. I believe it was in 2019. And he basically acted by himself, did reconnaissance and went and was able to get out a lot of hostages there. And was really the, he was the only SAS officer that was on site. Not sure the details as to why he was the only one, but you can see just by the way he's dressed, he really clearly didn't have all the, his gear with him. Didn't have much time to get ready. He's wearing jeans. And again, this is this is exactly what he was wearing during the actual incident itself. He had jeans, he had his boots, and he had like basically a pink button up here as well. Luckily, he had his rifle and his tactical plate carrying gear, also his uh, hood there or his balaclav, and then he's got the earpiece you can see inserted into the left-hand side there 
as well. But awesome looking Milsim skin again, based on the real world SAS officer from Kenya. So you can see, I made the M4 to look like the CA7 that he's using in real life, as close as I could get it. We also have the tactical pouches, pistol. You can see if we go ahead and scoot around back, he's got the radio. Gloves there on the back left. And then he's got his knife there right under his chest plate in the front, where he can grab it with his right hand as well. But this is an awesome operator. And again, the good thing about this is it does come with other outfits too. So the same with all these Milsim skins that we're seeing is they have different challenges associated with them that give you different out, different looks. So again, you can see it's the same skin, just a different color scheme here. So this one might not stick out as much with the pink. This one's still pretty cool. And then the insulator here is the final one. Again, same exact outfit, just different color schemas. But I have to say my favorite still is a safeguard just because it goes with a real life SAS officer was wearing uh, to a T basically. And this is just an awesome outfit, especially with our M4 kit to look as close as possible to a Colt CA7 there. Really nice looking operator skin. This is probably my favorite of season five so far. So next up, let's go ahead and check out the battle pass again. And we'll go ahead, if I skip back to tier 10. So we'll go forward. Really, the Milsim Operators are the first half of the Battle Pass. Then after that, we get kind of more outlandish skins. But you can see here at Tier 19, we get the Shadow Company Operator skin. So again, this is a bundle associated with challenges. And you can go ahead and unlock three different Operator users. This is the final version you get once you unlock this. And this is my favorite that I'm running right now. And again, you can see very similar to the Modern Warfare 2 Shadow Company Soldier. He's got his nods, uh, his tactical goggles there and then again for the nods you can see where that cord goes to the back where the battery pack is there on the rear and it's also interesting that these are for the allegiance but they are wearing the american flag so again that's kind of going to the armistice there where both are combined to fight off al-assad but and zakaya but again you can see that cord going to the battery pack tactical helmet again looks similar to a, a fast mt hard to tell he's got his contacts face cover you can see A-plus there for his blood type. He's got his tactical grenade there on the front of the chest plate. Tactical plate carry as well, where his radio again located on the back. Uh, he's got his camel back there. And then again, very similar layout that we're seeing. But again, the tan and black color schema here is very nice. He's got his knee pads. And again, just an overall great looking operator skin. So let's go ahead and we'll back out once more. And I'm just going to reselect our AN-94 here just so it goes closer with these operators. So if I go back to the Bilsom operator again... Again, there are challenges associated with him. So let me go ahead and just bring up all of his outfits. So Shadow Company 1, when you unlock this first, this is what it looks like, right? Still pretty good. Pretty nice looking. And then the second one here, you can see adds a little bit more tactical gear to the soldier himself. Still really nice looking. And then just look at the differences here from 2 to 3. You can see we get a nice new addition to the plate carrier. A lot of uh, face cover and gear additions here, and also a different colored helmet as well. So overall, just an awesome operator bundle here that you get in the battle pass. So again, that's for the Shadow Company soldiers. And okay, let's go back to our battle pass, and we'll see what's next here. We do have, I think, one or two more Milsim operators left. So Shadow Company at Tier 19. And then this one is the Lynx for Domino. Not necessarily Milsim, uh, but again, it's okay. Not really, not really technically Milsim though, but still a pretty decent looking skin. I'll go ahead and skip forward again. Now, after we unlock the AN-94 Avocon at tier 31, we're going to go ahead and get the JTF-2. So, again, this is going to be for the Coalition side, and this is Canadian Special Forces JTF-2. So, let me go ahead to our operators here, and we'll go ahead and look at him. So, first, what I'll do also, just to keep it uh, more realistic, is... We'll select our M4, the same CA8 type build that we did for the SAS officer with Otto. Or Otter, excuse me. So again, here's our JTF2. This is the first outfit you get. You do unlock a second one, but again, you can see multi-cam. We've got the M4 kitted as close as possible to, to a Colt C8. He's got his contacts. Again, a helmet that looks very similar to a Fast MT. He's got his battery pack in the rear for the nods, although he doesn't have... He's got that. You can see where the nod mount would go, but there's not nods mounted there. He's got his balaclav, tactical goggles, the contacts again, as I said, tactical plate carrier. Uh, the radio on him is actually located, I believe, in the front. He's got his med pack there on the back with, again, additional magazines. You got pistol magazines on the left hand side, pistol holster on the right. And again, just 
uh, multi-cam fatigues there as well. Really nice looking outfit. This is a really cool, really reminds me of a more type Navy SEAL loadout for Milsim. You can see the same type of gear they wear, uh, JTF2, as, as some of the SEALs for the most part. They look very similar. So really cool outfit. Now the second one you get with him, if I go ahead and just preview the outfits here, is going to look more so similar to the Shadow Company outfits. So you can see here, just changes the color scheme. It's basically the same exact tactical loadout for the operator just we have instead of multicam we have black and tan so the same color schema as we saw with the shadow company operators as well right there so that's really cool really nice looking operator skin there again this is jtf2 number two outfit that you unlock and you unlock that with the challenges there get two kills using lethal equipment with the milsim operator selected so you can check out all those challenges when you unlock these but i think i do prefer jtf2 one is definitely my favorite so far besides the otter skin i believe so Go ahead and back out, and we'll jump to back to the battle pass. And again, you'll unlock that at tier 40, and I believe that's just about it for the Milsim operators that you get so far in this season. Go ahead and skip forward through the battle pass here. You can see after that, there's really just more unrealistic skins. One more here would be the Rook. So again, you can see this is for Rose, I believe. And if we go ahead and just preview this, her first two are a little ridiculous, but this last one is pretty decent looking. Again, this is more of a, a Milsim-esque type outfit that we saw with Lurch as well. So she's got quad nods there. Again, you can see the battery packs for the quad nods. She's got the, the contacts. She's got a face cover there as well. Plate carrier looks similar to an AVS. Definitely tier 5 or 6 protection. She's got the shoulder and arm protection as well. Uh, really nice looking loadout there as well. A knife located on the back, which I would think would be a little bit hard to get to but then you can see the extra magazines there on the sides as well and that is the rook operator bundle for rose and then the rest of the the uh battle pass you don't have anything yet and then in store we really don't have any milsim operators quite yet one thing to note is that the some of the original ones i believe from season four or even season three, mainly the United States Expeditionary Force. The color schemas on these changed a little bit, it seems, from the previous season. So I have to go back and look at the other videos I did for season three, Milsim operators, but you can see now their color schema seems to be a little different. I'm not quite sure what they if they did it with the other ones or not. I don't remember off the top of my head what they looked like to begin with, but those are the Milsim operators for season five. And again, you can see here, my favorite two that I have selected are the Otter SAS officer from Kenya as well as the Shadow Company, I think is a really nice looking bundle as well. But definitely hands down, I think my favorite so far this season is going to be the Otter that you see on the left-hand side for that SAS soldier that operated in Kenya during that hostage situation in 2019. And we'll have to wait and see what we get in the store for the remainder of the season. I know the FSB bundle is definitely scheduled to come this season when it was supposed to come in season four. We'll get a nice looking AK with that blueprint bundle as well. And we'll have to see what other operator milsim operator bundles we get down the road as well but definitely a really solid season for milsim operators let me know down below what you guys think is your favorite operator so far this season what you hope will be released what kind of milsim operators you want to see come to the game whether it's here in season five or some of the upcoming season video six seven or eight or however many more seasons they run with this game because i know they're going to be supporting it for quite a long time for warzone so i'm sure we'll be getting more milsim operator bundles down the road so let me know down below what you guys think of this also be sure to check out the giveaway details on the channel i'll be giving away two gift cards for your console of choice whether it's playstation xbox or pc all you need to do to enter that is be subscribed to the channel and then comment on one of the two videos down below either the apc 9 sd or the an94 avacon video and just comment your console of choice as well as something you like don't like about season five because i'm really interested to hear what you guys think so again Giveaway details are below, as well as the links for those two videos, the APC 9SD and the AN94 Abacon. You can just comment on one of the two. You don't need to do both. And I'll be picking a winner either the end of this weekend or sometime early to mid next week. So, again, let me know down below what you guys think of Milsim Operators for Season 5. And until next time, Buffer Gaming, out.